The cerebral assassin has arrived. This is Triple H's world. The spotlight is his home. A Grand Slam champion, one of the all-time greats. A former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, McFoley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since. The man has main evented seven WrestleMania and continues to grow his legend in WWE. From the midnight workouts to the endless dieting, Triple H prides himself on always being ready. I just hope Triple H's opponent tonight is as mentally tough as they think they are because the Cerebral Assassin is at the top of the game. of a man known as The Rock is eager to entertain the masses that have come here with the sole purpose of seeing a legend. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Despite his busy schedule, the only thing that Bravo Bowl wants to do now is lay the smackdown on his opponent. Hey, Corey, do you smell that? Byron, leave the catchphrases to the great one. But yes, we all smell what The Rock is cooking. There, you made me say it. See, that wasn't too bad.
You gotta believe this one's over. The Rock may be in a bad way here, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he oh, keeps wow. it to a minimum. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. And it's The Rock with the reversal. He wants no part of the outside. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, Ooh, a gut buster. That was all sorts of nasty. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. The game starting to fade. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Back in from the floor. The Rock has an impressive entering resume that puts him in the discussion for the greatest WWE superstar of all time. But he's matched with a movie career that cemented the great one as the top leading man in Hollywood. You name the film genre, The Rock has conquered it. Hilarious comedies, high-octane car movies, such Triple H. What a spinebuster by the game. The shoulders are down. That's not gonna do it. Well, he wouldn't be the great one if he stayed down on that pin. Rock's still got a lot of fight in this match. Michael, Corey, you both discussed the Rock's dom looking for the win. This might be it. Oh, my. Cover here. And Triple H powers out. Not even close. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no pedigree! Pedigree! On oh, the back of the neck. He might have it. As Corey... Oh, caught him! Uh-oh, uh-oh. No way! No pedigree! I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. He goes for the cover. The singles match has come to an end. Wow! That's an impressive win right there. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Wow, just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match.